Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we are going to be checking out this 333 in one retro handheld. I haven't actually done a review on one of these in a while, so it's cool to be um, looking at one of these again. Um, I recently hurt my leg, as you may have seen in my community post, so apologies for the break in making videos, but I'm back now. And why is there a bear on here? We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, so this was $17.99, as I said, from Amazon. Um, it looked quite interesting. You may or may not be able to tell from the front of that box. Um, obviously, we've recently just had the release of the LDK game. So companies are probably going to be sort of jumping on the bandwagon of that and taking advantage of its um, recent publicity and recent uh, hype, if you will. So... $17.99, keep that in mind. Uh, three inch screen, 333 HD non-repetitive games, an 800 milliamp hour battery and it supports AV output. Um, and then it says that there's a console, an AV cable, a USB cable and a user manual. And then there's a little sort of indicator design of the, uh, the actual console itself. And then as I said, there's a weird bear on there, maybe to show that it's like a gift. Uh, you know what companies are like in China, a little bit weird. Um, right, so there's the device taking the rest out. We've got the battery, uh, here's the AV cable, micro USB charging cable, and the manual. Please read the following contents prior to connecting and playing to ensure proper use and care. So let's take a look at the console itself. Obviously looks like the LDK game. Here's a picture of the LDK game. Um, I don't know why they've decided to make it look like that. I can only imagine it's, you know, just to, to sort of trick people um, to thinking that it's one of those because obviously 17 pounds is, is about half the price of what these things go for. Um, but a lot of people have actually said that they really like the form factor of this. It's, you know, a little square thing uh, feels quite nice. Very nice big screen on there. Does it say the size of the screen? Three inch screen. Yeah, that's quite a nice size to be honest with you. Um, you've got the little trigger buttons on the back, you've got the AV out, the micro USB, big speaker on the back there, nothing on this side and a power switch on there, nothing on the bottom. And on the back we need to actually whack the uh, battery in. This is a BL5C Nokia clone battery so um, if for whatever reason you want to play this for a very very long period of time you can pick up more of those batteries on eBay and then just swap them out as you go. Uh, the front of the device looks pretty cool. They've gone for this matte black uh, finish, although it feels sort of like they painted it matte black. And um, you can definitely see, because on the inside of uh, the plastic battery cover here, it's a completely different matte black to the outside. So I feel like they have actually painted it, which might mean that this thing's prone to scratching. Um, and also, it will definitely mean if you use this for a long period of time, it will rub off the paint around the action button. So it will go a little bit sort of chrome um, gloss finish, if you will. So let's turn it on. Right, well, it's one of those menus again. That's never really too excellent, but it says that it's HD game. So as long as there's not very much screen tear and the games run well, then this could be good. So obviously we're gonna want English. Uh, the screen looks incredibly high quality. Let me just show you that there. It looks really, really good. Um, very impressed so far by that screen. Probably better than the um, the recent BitBoy uh, Pocket Go. Seems like it's got three volumes. And then off, which is quite good. Here we go. So this is the classic game, Super Mario Bros. This is always the one where we get um, issues with the sound, issues with the screen. So uh, let's take a look at Super Mario Bros. on the uh, 333 games in one and see if it's any good. Okay, the sound is sound is absolutely dreadful on the, uh, the the louder setting, but actually this is working very nicely. It's a little bit slow as far as I can tell, um, but it's definitely not slow. It's not that slow that it's you know really bad. I can't see any screen tearing yet. Um, ah, I couldn't figure out whether you, ah, a little bit of screen tear in there, but you know what? Yep, 
You know what, that is not too bad. That's actually quite good. There wasn't a lot of screen tear in that. Um, that's pretty good. I mean, one thing we do have to bear in mind is that this is $17.99. You can pick up ones that are very similar to this for literally about four or five pounds now. So um, you really are paying for that little form factor. Um, but let's keep playing a little bit more of this and see if we notice any more glitches. There definitely is a sort of a weird um, horizontal sort of scan line. Oh, I just died there. There is sort of like a weird horizontal uh, diagonal even sort of scan line that goes across that screen as you run quite far. Um, I'm going to see if I can capture this on the screen, but I think it's going to be quite hard to do that. Um, I'll see if, if I do capture it, I'll zoom it in in post-production. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, pretty good. I'm, I'm actually very surprised with how well that works. That seems quite nice. So here's a little bit of Pac-Man. The D-pad is, is very, very responsive, which is nice. This does not feel um, that cheap. The colors look really good on this screen as well, which is quite nice. Uh, well, obviously that's very nice, it's quite important. The L and R buttons seem to sort of be just like turbo buttons. Obviously the NES doesn't have um, L and R. Yeah, I mean, this is working very, very nicely. Very responsive, it's a nice form factor. You know, it's nice and small to put in the uh, in the pocket and bring it with you wherever you go. Uh, really, really happy with that. Super surprised at how well it actually plays. Seems like we're really getting to a good place with these um, sort of NES clone things. It'd be nice to see us start to get like SNES um, as like a standard on these sort of devices because, you know, we've seen enough of the NES now, but. Um, what you got to also remember is a lot of people, um, a lot of people who will end up buying one of these things aren't going to be like avid retro lovers. They might just be scrolling through Amazon, find something which plays NES games, and they just want to relive some memories of their childhood. And for $17.99, that's a pretty good price for people to pay. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.